Many web hosting providers start with just one Plesk server. Over time, they grow up to 5, 10, 20 servers, at which point managing this infrastructure becomes a hassle. Your staff must keep track of all the host names and Plesk administrator passwords for each server. Moreover, there are many other challenges, like keeping track of where each customer is provisioned to quickly log into the correct server while still on the call with the customer, applying same settings to many servers at once, or balancing the load between servers when provisioning customers. To cope with these challenges, you can use an external provisioning system, a spreadsheet or good old text files. Today I want to show you Plesk Multi-Server, a new Plesk extension that can help you overcome these challenges and make Plesk infrastructure management easy and hassle-free. To use Plesk Multi-Server, you need at least two Plesk servers. One of them will become the management node and the other a service node. Although two servers is a minimum, starting with a three makes more sense. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. The management node and service nodes must have the same Linux operating system, for example, CentOS 7. Plesk Onyx installed. Plesk multi-server licenses purchased and installed. And the same set of Plesk components installed on each server. All of the servers in the Plesk multi-server setup must be clean installations. There should be no customers or subscriptions on either server. This is because you cannot use the management node for hosting services, and right now Plesk Multi-Server cannot join service nodes with existing customers and subscriptions into the Plesk Multi-Server infrastructure. So, having prepared our servers, let's install the Plesk Multi-Server extension. To do this, log in as Plesk administrator to your future management node, go to Extensions, find Plesk Multi-Server and install the extension. Once the extension is installed, you'll see these new items in the main menu. Let's go to the nodes and see what we have there. In Plesk Multi-Server settings, I have an option to enable manual selection of service nodes when provisioning subscriptions. By default, Plesk Multi-Server chooses a service node using round-robin algorithm. Let's add our first service node. All I need to provide here is server's IP address and Plesk administrator password. On the next step, Plesk asks me how to display the server in the list and which IP address to use for shared hosting subscriptions. Click OK and Plesk Multi-Server starts adding the service node. To monitor the progress, let's switch to the task screen. Plesk Multi-Server creates one or more tasks to synchronize or provision objects to the service nodes. These tasks are executed in the background by a worker process. This process starts every 5 minutes, looks for tasks to run and executes them. Now let's add a second service node. The process is the same. Once you add a service node, you can log into it by clicking here. To return to the Management Nodes interface, click here. Before I start provisioning customers and subscriptions, I want to show you a neat thing that Plesk Multi-Server enables. Let's go over to Tools and Settings. From this screen on the Management node, I can update settings on all service nodes. Some settings, like security policy, branding or server preferences, are applied to all servers at once. Other settings screens ask me to choose the server I want to manage. Now let's create a customer and a hosting subscription. The process is the same as on a standalone Plesk server. Set a name, email, login and password for a customer. If the setting that allows to manually choose a service node was enabled, I would be able to select a specific service node in this section. By default, I can only define whether the hosting subscription must have a shared or a dedicated IP address, and Plesk Multi-Server will choose a suitable service node for the subscription. Down here, the settings for a hosting subscription are the same as on a standalone Plesk server. Once I press OK, Plesk Multi-Server will choose a suitable service node and create a provisioning task to create a customer and a hosting subscription. 
As you can see here, Plesk Multi Server chose the first service node. Let's provision another customer. This customer and their subscription are created on the second service node. By alternating provisioning between service nodes, Plesk Multi Server fills servers evenly. If you notice that one of the servers is overloaded, you can deactivate it. The server and its services will still be available, but Plesk Multi Server will no longer provision to this service node. The management node serves as a single entry point to both administrator and customers as well. Customers can log in and manage their subscriptions on the management node, no matter which server their subscription is actually on. Plesk Multi Server can also integrate with a popular billing system WHMCS. To integrate two systems, download the Plesk plugin and unpack it to plugins slash servers slash Plesk subdirectory in the WHMCS root directory. Then log into WHMCS, go to Setup, Product slash Services, Servers and click Add New Server. Enter the host name. Set the server type to Plesk Multi Server. Enter the username and password. Don't forget to enable a secure connection. After that, you can create WHMCS products and map them to the service plans on the Plesk Multi Server Management node. Plesk Multi Server is in active development, and new features and capabilities are added with each update. Check out the roadmap in the Plesk Multi Server Guide for more information. In this video, you learned that Plesk Multi Server can provide you with a convenient way to manage your Plesk servers from a single access point. To deploy Plesk Multi Server, you'll need at least two Plesk Onyx servers with the same OS and the same set of components. One server will be the management node that controls the infrastructure and provides a single entry point for administrator and customers. The rest will become service nodes that provide hosting services. All of the servers in the Plesk Multi Server setup must be clean and have no customers or subscriptions on them when you deploy Plesk Multi Server. However, future updates may lift this restriction. Plesk Multi Server provisions customers and subscriptions to the service nodes using round robin algorithm, filling them evenly. Plesk Multi Server can integrate with WHMCS using a plugin which you can download from GitHub. Future updates to Plesk Multi Server will bring new features, such as migration to Plesk Multi Server from Plesk or other control panels, centralized DNS, and support for Windows servers. I hope this video was helpful.